AI agents are taking over. Surprisingly. Taking over your tedious tasks. And it is about time you learn how to build one on your own. Let's see how. Hey everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. And today I will teach you something super exciting. How to create your own AI agent from scratch using Salesforce Agent Force. If you're still confused about Agent Force and what it does, you can check out this video. So let's dive in to see a step-by-step -step process and build your first AI agent. To make it simpler for you, I'm going to take an example of a finance agent. But you do you. Now the first step is to define the purpose of your agent. Before building anything, you need to answer a simple question. What will this AI agent do? Let's say for a finance company, this agent will assist with account related queries like balance checks or transaction history, provide guidance on investment options, offer personalized saving tips based on customer goals. Defining this purpose will help you stay focused throughout the process and configure the agent accordingly. Our step two is setting up agent force. You simply have to log in into your Salesforce org and enable agent force in setup. You also need to turn on Einstein, Einstein bots and Einstein Copilot as a necessary requirement. If needed, you might have to install some other components from the app exchange to make sure you have everything in place. This setup process is quick but important for accessing all the tools you'll need to create and customize your AI agent. Coming on to our step three, which is to build the knowledge base. It's time to create the brain of your AI agent, your knowledge base. For our finance agent, I'll add FAQs of customers here. How can I check my account balance? What are the current interest rates for savings accounts? How do I start investing in mutual funds, etc, 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 etc. To answer these questions, our agent must have a rich database. So now you need to add some relevant and helpful articles, graphs and videos. Once that is done, it is time for step four, designing the agent in agent force. Now this is the fun part. In agent force setup, navigate to Einstein Generative AI. Click on agent studio and then agents. Here, you'll see the option to create a new agent. As you click on this option, you'll see a screen where you need to fill in the details of your agent. Give it a name like finance support agent. Next, you have to describe the purpose of your agent. Remember step one, it all comes down to this. The agent builder will also ask you to define the agent user. You can either be a basic user or design a custom description. Lastly, set your tone and hit create. Our step five is to get into Agent Builder and configure our finance support agent. Agent Builder has many sections for configuration. Take your time here as it will be a long process. First up is Agent Topics. Add here what you need the agent to talk about, like we decided earlier, account balance, interest rates, mutual funds, etc. Describe in detail when and how the agent can talk about each topic and provide a scope to restrict the agent's conversation. For example, it can respond to a customer asking for account details. But to carry out transactions, it will require a human intervention. In the same section, you need to add some instructions. These will help our finance agents in making decisions about how to use the actions in a topic for different use cases. Speaking of actions, let's move on to the next part of Agent Builder. You can create an agent action based on flow, apex or prompt template. Give your action a name and describe what it does or when to use it. Here, for the action to be executed by the agent, it will need some input. So you can decide if you want the user to start a conversation for the action to take place or use the knowledge base that we have created in step three. Click on the finish button once you're done with all the configuration steps. Step six is to connect our topics and actions. This is where all your configuration will show up. Connect all topics with relevant actions and give them new descriptions so our finance agent can make decisions and take next steps in the conversation. For example, if someone inquires about mutual funds, the agent should be able to find and suggest a suitable option as per the customer's financial history and requirements. We've reached step seven, which is to test our agent. You can use Einstein AI to train the agent by giving it different prompts. Ask all questions that your customers might ask and see if your agent is working as you wish. Lastly, step eight. Our final step is to deploy the agent. If all your testing has been successful, then it is time to see your creation in action. Deploy and activate the agent for your users and we are done. See how easy it is to build your very own AI agent from scratch. Remember that an AI agent isn't a set it and forget it tool. It's always evolving. So make sure to use Einstein analytics to track how customers are interacting with your agent. 
For instance, if many customers are asking about credit score improvement, you can add new resources or refine the agent's responses to offer better guidance. From setting up agent force to deploying our finance agent life, we've taken every step. Now it's your turn. What kind of an agent are you planning to build? We can take over the technical aspects and help you throughout the process of implementing AI agents in your business. Check out the link in the description to connect with us. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and share this video with someone who might need it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.